In today's video, we're gonna go over some interesting new Blender add-ons that can speed up your work in certain areas. From turning 2D sketches into clean 2D models, to improving shading, lighting, and scene organization, in addition to other stuff. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Kicking things off, we have Simple Sketch Pro, which is all about making line art rendering in Blender as easy as it gets. And the good news, this add-on is from Chip Walters, one of the best Blender developers out there. So, if you are into technical illustration, architectural sketches, or stylized concept art, I think this add-on has you covered. Basically, it automates line-based rendering with a bunch of presets, like black and white, blueprint, clay style, transparent line art, and even a SketchUp-like mode, which I can already see being a fan favorite. One of the best features here is the screen space line art. You see, unlike Blender's default system, this will keep the thickness consistent no matter the perspective. So your thick and thin lines stay uniform across all the scene. Oh, I almost forgot. It is also optimized for animation, so you can toggle material visibility per object, making decals, transparent materials, and layered renderers more manageable. Another new interesting add-on is called Fracture Lab, which is gonna take destruction to the next level with real-time and precision-based fracturing. And by the way, this is from the developers of RBD Lab, so you know this stuff is good. Basically, if you're into creating cinematic destruction, VFX, or game environments, this add-on lets you control exactly how objects are gonna break apart. You see, unlike traditional fracturing tools, Fracture Lab let you design exact fracture patterns or generate detailed cuts in just seconds. From what I can see, you can edit, adjust, and remove fractures anytime, making it really flexible for tweaking destruction effects that can look realistic. And speaking of realism, there is a module called the Damage Module, which lets you simulate cracked stone, shattered glass, or even cobblestone paths with automatic detail generation, which is pretty crazy to have. In addition, you can dynamically increase or decrease fracture resolution, in addition to optimizing for performance or fine detail when you need it. In the same vein, we have a new add-on called Semi-Realistic VFX, which comes with a highly customized effects pack powered by none other than geometry nodes. From what I can see, if you need smoke, fire, explosions, fireworks, or gunfire, this add-on lets you create detailed animated VFX in just a few minutes. And unlike traditional VFX workflows, semi-realistic VFX renders way faster than the classic VDB simulations while maintaining control over detail and performance. You can also take advantage of the preset system, which makes it easy to get started, while advanced customization ensures you can tweak every little detail that can match your vision. Another thing I want to mention is that with classic VDBs, the size of the files is a problem because they are usually too big. But with this tool, the entire pack is compressed down to about 40 megabytes, so you will get all the effects without the massive storage requirements. Another new add-on is called Nucleus, which is designed to clean and optimize your messy 3D meshes into something that is presentable. It also comes with its own smart mesh analysis tool. In addition, it has a handy one-click solution that automatically detects and fixes common geometry issues. And if you need more control, consider using the quick actions for more precise geometry issues like double vertices, holes, inverted normals, and so on. This will ensure clean geometry for smoother and better performance in general. And the best thing, the simple interface makes the process very easy, even for those who don't want to dive deep into manual cleanup. So if you're tired of topology headaches, this add-on offers something interesting. The next add-on brings something specific, and I guess you can tell that from the name, Chain Generator. Basically, it allows you to create high-quality and customizable chains without the headache of manual modeling and adjusting stuff. So with 60 different chain parts and 16 material options, including metals, plastics, and even transparent styles, you can mix and match to get the exact thing that you're looking for. The add-on allows you to generate chains using hand-drawn curves, which is expected, because this gives you control over the shape, size, and link placement. It also supports multiple chain types in a single setup, 
meaning you can freely combine different styles while keeping the process smooth. In addition, the chain generator lets you animate different lengths in addition to different sizes, making it great for motion graphics or physics-based interactions. Now we're going to take a look at a new add-on called Vector to 3D. This tool lets you make vector designs and instantly convert them into clean and high-quality 3D meshes, eliminating all sorts of complex workflows or tedious manual modeling. So if you're like me, and you find yourself working with a lot of logos, icons, and banners, and you need to bring them into Blender, this add-on offers just a solution for that. Simply import your file, tweak a few settings, like adjusting the height, distance, and beveling settings, and you should be good to go. Now, if you've ever found yourself constantly plugging nodes into the material output just to check their effect, then you probably take a look at this new add-on called Shader View, which is gonna save you a lot of time. It gives you instant previews right inside the node editor, kind of like how Unreal Engine, in addition to Unity, show shader previews. You see, every node displays its output in real time, and even in complex setups, Shader View runs smoothly by handling previews in the background. You can zoom in, tweak resolution, pick specific outputs, and switch between plane and sphere previews to fit your workflow. And the best part, it even works with animated shaders, which is a huge help when working with motion effects. Now, let's talk about lighting with this add-on called IES Infinite Lighting. The add-on makes it easy to bring physically accurate lighting into Blender. So, generally speaking, you're not stuck using basic point lights anymore. Instead, you get real-world IES profiles that can instantly add realism to your scenes. As you can see, it comes with a clean and simple interface. You can browse, preview, and apply IES lights, and you can do that directly in Blender without any extra hassles. In addition, the add-on comes with a wide variety of IES presets, from soft ambient glows to sharp focused beams, and you can tweak intensity, scale, and color temperature to fine-tune the look. So, if you're working on architectural visualization, product rendering, or cinematic lighting, or maybe interior or exterior design, this add-on might be for you. Last but not least, we have an interesting add-on called Mosset, which is a very handy tool for adding moss to your 3D scenes without lots of manual work. So, instead of placing tiny patches one by one, this add-on lets you grow realistic moss in just a few clicks. It is quick, easy to tweak, and blends right into Blender's workflow. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.